Well, for more than a year, we have been following the FAA's plan to change flight routes over Colorado. But for the longest time, we couldn't tell you who would be impacted. We knew some communities could expect more noise, others less. Well, tonight, Centennial and Littleton leaders are the ones making noise, furious that the feds won't sit down with them to talk about their plans. Number 7, Jennifer Kovaleski is live from the Centennial Airport. Um, Jen, Centennial says its concerns are just being ignored. Shannon and Jessica, they feel like the FAA isn't listening. Here at Centennial Airport, they've even hired an attorney. And the CEO tells me that they are ready to go to court if the FAA doesn't start working with them, especially after the rollout of these flight paths created such controversy in other states like California and Arizona, where noise complaints skyrocketed. They're not going to bring it to us. We have to go chase it after them. City leaders across the state are now making their own noise calling out the feds for a lack of transparency. They're not being transparent. They've never been transparent. They went to hold a meeting and they found out that the press found out about it and so they canceled the meeting. Littleton Mayor Debbie Brinkman is concerned about planes flying over homes that never signed up to be in a flight path. The concern here is not only the noise and the disruption, but also the effect that it will have on the community. This is your captain speaking. I'm happy you've chosen to fly next gen. This is all a part of next gen. What the FAA is selling is a way to modernize our airspace, going away from radar in favor of more accurate satellite. But that also means changing where planes fly. Through a new Metroplex in Denver, the FAA is proposing 30 new flight paths, impacting almost every airport in the state, including Centennial Airport, the second busiest non-commercial airport in the country. A number of communities where Metroplex has been implemented and folks have been very surprised that they didn't know that those new flight paths would go over their homes. Robert Oleslagers is the guy in charge. So we're an important asset. We don't want to be a nuisance at the same time. He says the airport is ready to do whatever it takes, even hiring their own attorney. The same attorney who sued the FAA in Phoenix and won. I think the FAA is uh, uh, interested in doing the right thing. Uh, the question is, will they do the right thing? make a change and be the second city in the in the country that was able to protect their communities. Now, Congressman Jason Crow is also involved and sent a letter to the Littleton mayor. The FAA told us today that they have no comment about the concerns raised in this story and by city leaders. They also tell us they have no new information about the flight pass. They have previously said that none of these paths are a done deal. They are waiting for public comment during public hearings scheduled for May of this year. A final decision is expected in December. Actually, a final decision is expected in September of this year. So only 30 days for these towns and cities to respond to the new pass. Reporting live in Centennial, I'm Jennifer Kovaleski for Denver 7.